of the map once again. Zmarin is going to be picking that one up and punished. Grabs his Twisted Fate. Yeah. Emphasis on his Twisted Fate. Punished is actually... He wants to take that one and he does. So Savoki continuing to be a bit of a nuisance. Pressuring them out of the jungle here. Not going to go towards the wolf camp. Is Savoki now going to get turned on? Marin able to throw down a fair bit of damage. There's the rune prison here as the exhaust comes out. Amy will need to be careful as there's the flash first blood from Savoki. One versus two in the jungle and he's not done. The pillar goes down. Marin can't actually move. Has to flash over the wall as there's the gold card. Savoki in trouble. Rune prison will be there once more. As Savoki's able to utilize this grasp of the undying. Deadly flourish not going to be it's enough. Force the flash out of the rise. Destiny's coming in, everyone moving towards the top side of the map. But the Destiny is just a deterrent right now. Ah, Punish finally pulling the trigger next to the tower. Yeah, just going to try and make sure that Republic isn't going to be able to get the work done. But Marin in so much trouble. Hemo Plague is going to be able to pick up the kill and Punish now in trouble. Amy over the side. GT. So he's going to have that Lambs of Spite if they need it. And Savoki falls a steal. Just going to be able to take that pink ward. And Marin, no mana at all. Gimgoon going to jump on him. The Ignite's down, and he is so incredibly dead. Doesn't have Flash. He's going to try and run away, but Urchin Strike going to get Gimgoon right up close. Take down the Rise. And that's two times now that Marin has been caught out over Tunnels. Destiny has been popped as he's looking for Pentacue. The Gold Card goes down on Savoki, though. He doesn't have Subjugate just yet as the... Captive audience is going to be there, but Punish still able to pick up the kill and LGD make their mark. So the real success story there was the fact that Marn was in the mid lane. Going back to base. They're not going to be able to backdoor this turret. Marn is going to get fished. There's the flash forward from Wushong. Marn in so much trouble and is going to fall down underneath the turret. Gimgoon had the turret said before, but if Amy can actually get in here, could be a big deal. As Gimgoon, not a lot of mana. Urchin Strike, he's going to get him out. No knock up to come in from Amy. As Wushong has, has the ultimate still available, no turret is here as the gold card is being looked for from Punish. There it is, does have the flash if he wants it, but Imp still able to lock down the kill. And Wushong decides not to use the ult. Understands that the rest of his team, the ambush, is going to be popped here as Imp looking for Gimgu and he's going to get knocked up immediately. Urchin Strike comes out as there's a twisted fate, but I believe he's still going to die. Punish is going to be able to pick up that kill as Imp runs away. Curtain Call still doing some work here for Pentacure as Wushong's taking some damage. But is able to lock down Amy. Imp now running away. And we'll see whether Game Talents can grab anything more out of this. I'll have to dodge some wild cards making their way towards this rat who's looking for his ambush cooldown. Wants to move out of the way as there's the flash gold card. Wushong in trouble just gets destroyed as now the ultimate comes out from Imp and he's just turning things around onto Savoki. Gold card's there, however. And it is going to be Imp that locks down yet another kill. Republic wants to grab more as the Hemo Plague is going to finish off the rat. And the teleport's coming in now from Gimgoon as he respawns. Nice slow to come in from the Winter's Bite as Republic looking to hold on. But that's going to... Spike hasn't been delayed at all. And this is something that Marin is constantly able to do as he's caught out again. Yes, he's most definitely in trouble as Savoki's just going to try and keep him there. Deadly Flourish is going to come down and Pentacue is able to pick up the kill. Now, However, LGD, pick up a dragon. Naturally, that's bad. There's never going to be a scenario where that's, <laughs> that's fascinating uh, imp. Wow, there's the curtain call already as the pillar goes down. Wushong able to lock down Punished as it is going to be a Republic that picks up the kill. PYL now able to stand beside Amy, who's looking to try and find a way out. Just says, I'm Tunnel and I'm out of here, my friend. As Republic is able to close distance with the Ghost. They want PYL though. His mobility boots have come back up. There is no more Ghost available here from Republic as PYL doesn't want to get hit by anything. The exhaust comes out. It's a little bit late though as there's the pillar. Amy able to get into position one more time and there's another stand beside me. For PYL, Gimgoon though, looking for another Urchin Strike. Can they actually get there as Gimgoon throws down the Ignite, is able to lock up the kill. And just as we were saying, the flank... Still 50 CS ahead, and there's the Destiny. Pentacue flashing out of the way, but Punish still able to lock this one down. Oh. Really nice Lambs of Spite comes in from Wushong as there's the Flash knockup. Lambs of Spite is going to fall. Wildcard's going to pick up the kill into Pentacue, and that's exactly what they wanted. In the end, they do Wants it. Going to get all of his health back first. That's a Void Staff already done at the same time as Goldcard comes in. Flourish, not going to find anyone. As Gimgoon now looking to try and find his way into the back line. Imp now stealthed up. Nice double knockup comes down as Wushong. He's going to take a lot of damage from Punish, but it's a nice Hemo Plague. You can see Marin already getting the work done in the back line. As Savoki is going to fall. Republic going to be out of Zonia's, but I have a feeling he's still super dead. And Marin's going to be out of lockdown yet another kill as LGD probably got eyes on the Baron. There's not a lot of advantage behind it. You just run full force to the enemy team as Imp making oh. some hero plays. Yeah, Lambs of Spite is going to come down, but Imp is going to benefit from it. Just to gets destroyed afterwards. But Marin able to answer. That is going to be AD carries traded as the poison still ticking down, but Wushong is going to be safe for now. 
And you can see Amy and Punish, they want to lock down this jungler so badly. That Preseeker pretty close, but Punish is ghosting. Will be able to get there. The gold card, Destiny, does come out. And there... Oh, my goodness. Okay, wild card. Punish is able to lock down the kill. Almost punished for uh, not watching the explosion. This Fizz, as the Destiny is going to come in, so he's going to have help. Urchin Strike used first, as Gimgoon holding on to the Playful Trickster for now. And uh, he's just going to give it up. Falls down, punished. Yeah, it gets fished. And that's the problem, is that Game Talent's composition wanted right. because Gimgoon was caught down bottom, and he's the only member with Teleport. And well, now getting punished again. Yeah, there's another Destiny. Gimgoon not going to be able to get out of that one. Playful Trickster already down. Looks almost all too easy here, as Marin does have Teleport as well. So Gimgoon's dead. <laughs> oh, once again, Destiny going to come out. That is going to be the fish down on a Gimgoon, but Punish just going to ignore it. And waiting for another gold card. Locks it in. Gimgoon is going to die. Marin grabs another kill. They're looking for a possible inhibitor. Game so Talents take it. finally have to pull the trigger and try to collapse. Meanwhile, LGD on Baron. Yeah, Marin actually does have his Guardian Angel, but will fall down. There's the Zonyas as punished. He's going to fall, but Baron Buff is going to be taken. Marin wants to try and take a life with him, but he's not going to be able to. Double kill comes out for Republic, and the Baron Buff is going to fall down. So two kills for a Baron Buff. And one kill. Probably worth the LGD. Marn is resetting his position so he can have home guard teleport available. Yeah, pillar comes down. Imp now waiting off to the side. It's a curtain call that comes in as the Hemo Plague is down onto the wrap. You can see the teleport in from Marn might be a little bit late as the Hemo Plague does so much damage. There's the Lance of Spiders. Wu Shang is being kept alive, but Imp's able to take down Republic. He's just ripping through the team members of Pentacue over to the side, being the hero that they need. Marin is going to be able to lock him down, though. As you can see, GT just getting destroyed left, right, and center. Punished is able to take down. The trundle and just... that they do high risk, kind of medium reward. Yes, Here's Gauntlet our team fight. Throws. Yeah, as Marin actually has to flash out of the way here. Doesn't have his GA back up just yet. Actually does. As Punish comes in with a gold card at the ready. He's going to be able to throw it down. Look at the damage from these wild cards. This Twisted Fate is so damn big. So Playful Trickster is going to get Gimgoon out of the way of the gold card, but you can see Punish continuing to look for a dive. It's going to head to the now bottom. Now the suffocation takes place. They're smothering game talents. Yeah, Wishong taking a lot of damage there as he gets hit by the gold card. Gimgoon actually going to throw down the engagement here as Deadly Flourish comes in. There's Lambs with Spiders. Wishong taking a lot of damage. Imp is already dead. As Punish trying to get out of the back of this one. You can see GT actually playing this out fantastically well. And they've cleaned up the team fight. Marin is going to respawn, but it's a triple kill for Gimgoon and Amy. Just didn't want to come out of that Guardian Angel. Game Talents finally find the fight that we're looking for. That's uh... PYL now going to be able to give Imp 100% critical chance. As Game Talents will be able to grab themselves a Baron off the back of this one as well. Be able to claw within 10,000 gold. But they haven't got very much base remaining. Doesn't necessarily mean as much uh, this late in the game just because everyone's seen Sliding GT understanding that they might actually have an opportunity here. There's the pillar. Fish is going to go wide as the Destiny is going to make Punish sway into the fight. Savoki does have the ultimate running, but LGD now getting split apart and destroyed. Gold card goes down as Punish doesn't have the flash. Pentacue taking a lot of damage as Imp trying to kite around, but he's going to fall. Punish now the last man standing. He's going to get pillared out of the way. Really nice play from Savoki, and they only lose Republic, and they're going to make their way up the mid lane. Extra damage against the towers, but since they have a creep with them. Yeah, and there's 30 seconds to go on a lot of members of LGD. They're looking to try and finish this game out. Of course, Lancer Spite will help them a lot. The first Nexus turret falls. The second one is going down. Game Talents really want to try and finish this game off. Lancer Spite is going to go down, and that is going to be the game. Game Talents come back from... 13,000 gold behind and pick up the win over LGD. Ridiculous.